Welcome to Fanville and Woo-Pick Suez. The Arkansas Razorbacks are ready to take the field. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of my week, the Tennessee Volunteers taking on another SEC rival, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Razorbacks will boot it away to start the game. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Volunteers' offense takes the field for the first time today. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available, but you're not playing with one behind your back. You've got all guns blazing. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. To the air, it's Iamaleava trying to get to him. Gets away. And he will wisely throw it to the kid playing the tuba. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, then. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. From the gun, running back on the move. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about, I'm bigger than you, I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense, showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. At midfield, he's got room. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And the Volunteers are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And they got him for the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass throw a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And I know it's not a first down, uh, but I still like the way they, they ran the football here. Just trying to make the next third down manageable, try to get it where it's not as predictable. I think the offense did a really good job being smart there, taking what the defense gave them. Working their way closer and closer, a third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. The Volunteers will snap it on first and 10. They go to the ground. They make the stop of this running game, moves the chains as they get the first down. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Caught in the backfield, it's Lewis. So close to that end zone, he can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. This defense needing this energy from the crowd in a goal-to-go -go situation. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, ball! I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the bounce. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. 
you got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Razorbacks offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, the, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll go right back to the run. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Razorbacks will send out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Looking for a man. It's Iamaleava going up top. And it's caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Volunteers! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Number you know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Gentlemen, it has gone final in that top 25 matchup we've been keeping a close eye on. Ohio State looked dominant in a victory that was never really in question. That offense had zero problem putting up points. Not unlike the days of Stroud and Fields and so many greats before them. A top 25 clash and an impressive showing that could be a huge confidence builder for this program. Back to you. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Fights off a defender. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. Going to the ground is what the Razorbacks love to do to move those chains with guys like Peyton Hillis and Darren McFadden. Right. Yeah, and you think of just Felix Jones along with the same era, just guys that toted the rock with some physicality, just tough guys that, that make you bring your lunch. When you want to come tackle them, you better bring it. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. He'll do it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. He's looking to throw on third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Razorbacks will punt this one away. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bottled him up. Not a whole lot of room to run on that return, and that's how this period will come to an end. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. On the run, it's Sampson. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. The defense wouldn't let him loose. And even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. And that pass picked off. Trying to take it back. The 20. Touchdown, Arkansas. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. Really nice drive by this offense. This is a top 10 defense. This is a challenge. They're going to make everything difficult. So when you can make some plays against this defense, you got to absolutely take advantage, create some momentum for your squad. Nice drive by this offense. And he makes the extra point. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Back to pass, it's Iamaleava. Looking to the big tight end. He's got an open man. Afterburner's coming. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. This offense capable of exploding at any moment. Now they're set up inside the 30 with a first and 10. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I just love the individual one-on-one -on -one effort by the defense there. Offense trying to go option. QB keeps it, but just too many defenders winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, defeating blocks, and getting the tackle for us. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's right on target. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And the balls are moving quickly down the field. From the red zone, looking for a space. That's caught. It's Sampson. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run play action. Buys a little time. He'll get rid of it. Makes the grab. They will score. Touchdown, Tennessee. Really nice job working the route, getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air. And this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. 
And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven per game. So, Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Got his man quickly. Oh, big juke to get past. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. The Razorbacks moving quickly to the line. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. To the air. It's green. It's caught. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And the Razorbacks will snap it on first and ten. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Wide open downfield. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game as him on the doorstep. This offense needs a little something to feel good about going to halftime. A chance to chip away here on first and goal. They're going to throw it again. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Jackson. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create something. And listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. He almost picked up the first. First down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Unloads it left. It's caught. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And what a massive play for the offense. Not only getting the football across the 50, but they've now put themselves in position to steal a few more points here before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Right down the middle. The freshman quarterback, very fortunate for that one to fall incomplete. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. This time it's complete. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Scanning the field, it's Iamaleava. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. A lot of times when that ball's coming out, you can tell the offensive linemen want to get those defensive linemen's hands down. They want to hit them, engage them. Great job by the defensive end, getting his hands up in the air and getting the deflection. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. It is perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. 
So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll go to the ground. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle with Sategna. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And they'll send out the field goal unit. Doesn't have a straight-on shot here. He'll kick it from the left hash and 39 yards out. He splits the uprights right down the middle. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Looking to move it through the air. He tries to take the top off. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. The Vols will kick it away to crank up the second half. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They got a lot done through the air in the first half, and they might need even more production here in the second. I think they will, Reese, and, and I think this is an offense that has proven they're playing with good timing right now. They've got some matchups where they're winning one-on-one, -on -one, and they're just going to have to oh, keep oh, going oh, back oh, to the oh, well, oh. David, and relying on hitting some explosive plays to win this game. Yeah, and I think we look at numbers naturally, and, and they're losing. So that's the most important thing on the scoreboard, but they have had success, and so... What do you do? You keep playing pitch and catch. You got to score, but you got to talk to your defense. I need some stops. I need the football back quickly so we can do some more damage. And here comes the offense on second down. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Man, it's been a surprise today for this offense. Like, Coming into the game, we all talked about it. We thought they'd be able to run against this defense that's been run on a lot, and this offense just can't get the running game going. It'll be interesting to see what they do to try to change it up, but somehow, some way, they need that physical ground game. The Razorbacks send out the punt unit. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They're setting up the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Second and short now after that completion. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory there down at the 43-yard line. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed it. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleaba going for the big play. And he gets the foot down. It's a catch deep along the left sideline. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown ball! And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. TCU is ahead right now, but it's not like they have Ladani and Tomlinson out there. This group needs to keep building on this lead. They're up by 10 over Houston. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see in here, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Offense getting set for first down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's hot. Tackled immediately after the catch. So surprised. We have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Getting some heat. He'll pull it down. He was able to squirt free and pick up just a few on that one. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And the Razorbacks will bring the punt team onto the field. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. And David how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels, and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller... And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Defense came on the field with fresh legs, and here on just the second play of the drive, they're able to get a sack. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the return man is stuck, and now they'll leave it up to the offense on the next try. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Quarterback empties his backfield. Looking downfield, it's green. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. The Razorbacks will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And he can't quite get it down or out of bounds. It's into the end zone for a touchback. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Comes out throwing on first down. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. Well, quarterback trying to get aggressive, trying to take a shot deep down the field, but just not on the same page with his wide receiver as the pass falls in. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. Now the play fake. Ball in the air. Intercepted. Touchdown, Arkansas. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. And they come up with a huge pick six, and that is one of the reasons this defense has been so dominant all season long. They don't give up big plays, but they take the football away. And once they do, they've got better athletes than you do. They're hard to bring down. They can flip the game on a dime. On the move from inside is five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. 
Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. He'll start this drive firing. Finds a man on the left. And he'll be run out of bounds. And these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. An explosive play to start the drive. And they'll try to keep the D on its heels. Power football with the run. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Quarterback will audible. Trying play action. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They're bringing heat. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. Fair catch called for and made. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. Hand off from the shotgun. Open space at the 25. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. He'll pull it on the read. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Back to throw. It's Green. In the double coverage, and they made him pay. It's intercepted. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Volunteers! They build this fourth quarter lead, and they are just minutes away from going 5-0. and And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Line gets set, first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. He's got it. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. They couldn't draw up a better way to start a drive, and now they've got it first and 10 from the 41. Use the play fake, now to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. Nice pick up there, gets him the first down, and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. Wants to throw on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to pass on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Sategna. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Yeah, and that's nice coverage. He's taking a shot, trying to throw the ball to the end zone. Maybe put that thing up a little bit higher where his guy can go up and make a play and come down. But a nice job by the defender just getting his fingertip on the top of the football. And the Razorbacks racing to the line in the hurry up. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. 
No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. They're throwing for it on fourth down. A shot for the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And the comeback is on! So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So that was a 10-play, 75-yard drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. And here's the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it. You can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. you got to get it back. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Fires left. Makes a connection. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. And the Volunteers getting set on first and 10. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleava. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Tennessee! That'll give them a little more breathing room as they try to push this winning streak to five. Is there anything this dude can't do? He's channeling his inner Condridge Holloway, Heath Schuler, or dare I say, the great Peyton Manning. I bet he can't lead the band, Reese. I, I bet he's not allowed to do that. He's having himself a day, but he's not there yet. But man, putting up some stats, doing what he wants. This offense is absolutely good. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Coastal Carolina has the lead right now, but they haven't been able to separate themselves just yet there on the surf turf in Conway. They're up by five over Old Dominion. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Offense trying to keep them off balance on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle, it's Wilson. Didn't pick up a lot there, moving forward just a few. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He wants to throw here on second down. And the quarterback is snowed under. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. Here comes the offense on second down. Dropping back, it's Green. 
get it out on the screen. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. The Razorbacks headed quickly to the line. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. Now it's fourth down. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for him. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. First down here for the offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Got three on first down at second and seven. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. They'll run the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Might as well keep pounding that rock at this point in the game, even though it's second and 12. They're trying to get to him. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. That pass not close as he got twelve trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time the defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. The Volunteers will punt it away on fourth down. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. The offense lining up for a first down play. He's going to pass. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field, seemingly at will, throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this is wasn't your cup of tea. Ah, more defense optional. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff, but, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually, just kind of one stop with this many points that was being scored. you got the stop late, and that's why you got the dub. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.